today, we're going to talk about something that a lot of people are starting to use but don't have the familiarity with, and that's the IND in the CTD or ECTD format. We're going to go through and start with the basics, the common technical document format, how and why it came into existence, and describe it. Then I'm going to talk about some basic tools for electronic publishing and the ECTD. And actually, your workbook is really geared around the electronic publishing aspects. In fact, Section 1, or um, Item 1, is abbreviations and acronyms. These are the abbreviation and acronyms list that I have put together over all my years of dealing with electronic publishing that I keep handy. So I'm dealing with someone who's very IT oriented. I can go. I can actually understand them and go along with say understanding what they're telling me. I'm going to define a style guide and describe why it is important to the ECT implementation and map the contents of the traditional IND to the CT for, CTD format and then go through with you the details of what's in an IND and where you put it in a CTD format. <laughs> 